Hey, here we are. Happy Thursday, how we doing? Hey, Thursday's kind of my down day because we just got through with our fellowship night for Wednesday. We had a great time last night. I know some of you were, were watching it. We were talking about being redeemed from the curse of the law. Because when you're redeemed from the curse of the law, then the blessing comes in. We can get you blessed. Huh? Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to activate the healing power of God. The healing power of God. How to activate it. I would I would imagine when you when you think about this now just think about this for a second probably every born again believer knows that there is a healing power that God heals the question is two questions is does he want to and will he but they know that, that God can heal. They, they, they know that, that there's a healing power. Oftentimes, I'll ask people, sometimes even on their deathbeds, I'll say, do you believe God can heal you? I've never had anybody say anything other than, yes, I, be, I, believe, he can, I believe he can. The question is, does he want to? And will he? Huh? Huh? Do I want to? Three questions. Do I want to give you a million dollars? Can I? And will I? Now, do I want to give you a million dollars? Yes, I do. I want to do that. Can I? Not right now. I may next week. I may tomorrow. But right now, I don't have a million dollars in my account. Therefore, I do not have the capability of giving you a million dollars. But the question is, can I give you, how about a hundred dollars? Let's make it easy. Same three questions. Do I want to give you $100? Can I give you $100? And will I give you $100? <clears throat> I had a lady, bless her heart, she called me up. She said, Pastor Jim, she says, I know you're a man of integrity. Integrity. A man of integrity would pay a lady's electric bill. He would pay, he would pay the electric bill. <clears throat> so she says, I'm going to, I'm not, she says, I don't want you to give the money to me. I'm going to give you my account number and the address of the electric company for you to pay my electric bill. Because I know you're a man of integrity. That's what she said. Now the question is, Three questions. Do I want to pay her electric bill? The answer is yes. Another question is, can I pay her electric bill? It was 200 and some dollars. The answer again is yes. I could do that. Number three, will I? You have to answer those three questions. <clears throat> and the answer to that question is no. Nope. Well, why wouldn't you? If you can do something, doesn't the Bible say if you can do something, you should do it? It does. It says that. But in this case, that lady, bless her heart, is trying to make me her source. 
I will never allow anybody to make me their source. Because if they make me their source, they are making me their God. I am nobody's God, not even mine. Amen. I don't even depend on myself for my provision. I depend on God. I'm not letting anybody else depend on. Now, do I give money away? Sometimes. Sometimes we do. We don't lend money. But sometimes we give it away. Why is that? Because we just do. But I never give it to anybody who is trying to make me their source. Now, the question is, can God heal? Does he want to heal? And will he? To activate the power of God, you've got to know those three. You have to be able to answer those three questions. Does God have the capability of healing you? Everybody doesn't believe that he does. I had a lady one time with, <clears throat> she had a bad valve in her heart. And she was going to go up north to Connecticut to have surgery. I said, hey, before they cut your chest open and spread your rib cage, do all that. And I was a little bit graphic about it. But I said, before they do all that, why don't you come to our church and we'll pray for you and God will heal you. She goes, oh, she says, this is a lot bigger than that. I said, oh. You mean the person who created you can't heal you? So this is bigger than that. She did not believe that God could heal her. She went and had her surgery. She was okay, but she had her surgery. Took her six months to recover. Huh? Most people, though, do believe that God can heal. Does he want to? Big question. Does God want to heal? I'll tell you what, that's where you start dividing up the people. Because a lot of people, we just had the wife of a very prominent pastor die of cancer. I read some of the statements that that family made. They believed that Jesus used that cancer and held her hand and walked her into eternity. That sounds so wonderful. Can I have an awe from everybody? But that is wrong. Let me tell you why that woman died of cancer. Because the devil killed her. He used that filthy, stinking, rotten cancer to kill her. Would Jesus, had he been there in person, permitted that wonderful woman of God, and she was a wonderful woman, make no mistake about it, would Jesus have permitted her to die of that filthy, rotten, stinking disease? Or would he have touched her? Or would he have spoken to that cancer and said, come out? He healed all, A-L-L, -L, all who were oppressed of the devil. He didn't pick them out and choose them. He didn't say, well, let's heal this one and we'll let that one go and we'll heal that one and we'll let that one go. No, no, no. He healed them all. Is it God's will to heal? Was it God's will for that woman to die of cancer? No. No. She was 83 years old. That's still no reason. Yet this prominent Spirit-filled pastor allowed his wife to die of cancer. I got news for you. Mine's not dying of cancer or dementia 
or any other filthy, stinking disease. No, no, no. No. Those are demonic. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Now, that woman went to be with Jesus. Absolutely. But I'm telling you what, that is never God's way for you to go. You want to activate the healing of power of God, you got to know it is God's will to heal you. You got to know that he can and it is his will. Now, the question is, will he heal you? The third question. Will he heal you? I'm telling you what, when I show up, he will. And why is that? Because of faith in the name of Jesus. When faith in the name of Jesus is present, the healing is 100%. 100%. When people keep their eye on Jesus, they stay healed. The people who die of these sicknesses and diseases after I pray for them, or people who get their eye off of God. They put their eye on the doctor. They let their families talk them into going back for more treatment, for having this surgery and having that surgery. We just lost a very prominent businessman in this community after I got him healed. He didn't die of the cancer. He died of an infection because he allowed the doctors to do really unnecessary surgery on him. He died. He shouldn't have done it. Another woman <clears throat> was having, they wanted to do some work on her mouth. She didn't feel good about it. She wanted me to pray with her and oh my goodness. And she was so afraid. She died. Dental surgery, she died from it. She got an infection and died. I'm telling you what people, please. Let's activate the healing power of God in your life. Faith in the name of Jesus will do that. <clears throat> Peter told us in Acts chapter 3, verse 16, faith in the name of Jesus has healed this man. I'm telling you, faith in the name of Jesus will heal people every single time. Without fail, without delay. You don't have to wait for your healing. God's timing is right now. He doesn't make you wait. He doesn't make you wait for salvation. He doesn't make you wait for forgiveness. And he certainly doesn't make you wait for healing. Faith in the name of Jesus will activate the healing power of God. Let's do it. Let's get you healed, please. There is no reason for you to die. We can activate that healing power of God. When, when you call me, I combine my faith with yours. Your faith is making the phone call. My faith will get you healed. Amen. We combine those two. When people came to Jesus for healing, he would tell me, say, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has healed you. But did they need Jesus? Yes. They needed him, but they had faith also. When you make the call and you call me, say, Pastor Jim, I need to be healed. That is your move of faith. My faith will take the rest of it. We combine that faith and activate the power of God to get you healed. Glory to God. Go to my website, increasenow.com. If you know anybody who is sick, <clears throat> we are literally having a healing revival over the phone. I am praying for stage four cancer people every single day. And I'm telling you what, they're getting healed. Glory to God. Call me. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Don't die of sickness and disease. Increasenow.com. Have a great day. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.